Good evening and thank you for joining us. U.S. President Donald Trump sparked a tense standoff tonight after picking his nominee for the Supreme Court. Late today, Trump named Judge Amy Coney Barrett as his candidate, a favorite among Republican conservatives, largely because she supports the religious right. Today it is my honor to nominate one of our nation's most brilliant and gifted legal minds to the Supreme Court. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Trump is trying to force the confirmation before the November election. The president's push to fill the vacancy and today's announcement has outraged Democrats who say the move will alter the ideological makeup of America's most powerful court for years. Here's Jennifer Johnson. If confirmed by the U.S. Senate, Judge Amy Coney Barrett would cement a conservative majority on the U.S. Supreme Court, replacing one of its most outspoken liberals, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Supreme Court justices serve lifetime appointments. At 48 years old, Barrett would be the youngest justice and could help reshape the law for generations to come. Hopefully we'll be on that court for 50 years. Five of A claim that ignited Trump supporters at a campaign rally Friday night. Barrett, a devout Catholic widely backed by evangelicals, is a married mother of seven. She is considered to be anti-abortion and against same-sex marriage. Many fear if she's confirmed, the country's landmark Roe v. Wade decision giving women the right to abortion would be in jeopardy. In 2016, Barrett predicted a conservative court wouldn't overturn Roe, but put more limits on abortions. I don't think the, the core case that Roe's core holding that, you know, women have a right to an abortion, I don't think that would change. But I think the question of whether people can get very late term abortions, you know, how many restrictions can be put on clinics, I think that would change. Barrett had already been vetted by the White House before the president decided to nominate Judge Brett Kavanaugh in July 2018. Her nomination now goes to the Republican-controlled U.S. Senate, which will move quickly on her confirmation hearing. I believe it is critical that we confirm that nominee before election day. I believe we will have the votes to do that and get it done. Barrett could possibly be seated in time to rule on lawsuits arising from the presidential election. Should President Trump lose and question the validity of millions of mail-in ballots? Democrats are vowing to fight her confirmation as they did in 2017 after the president nominated her to serve on the federal appeals court. Dogma lives loudly within you and that's of concern. But right now, Democrats don't have enough votes to stop Barrett from taking a seat on America's highest court. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.